YouTube, Desi here, back with my Sparkle Dance, and today I'm back here with another awesome video, as always, and today is a DIY. So, see, I'm watching a whole bunch of videos for back to schools, a whole bunch of back to school DIYs. I'm just going to show you guys a DIY that I did. It's not really like a DIY, I just decorated my glue. I know the face isn't that nice, but I used it on a nail polish to have was old so and I used glitter nail polish and I colored this with a sharpie marker that I have here Oops. sharpie marker that I have and colored the top and the bottom and some of the orange just keeps coming off so I just keep coloring it over and over again so today I am doing a back to school DIY so this is basically like a little case to hold your eraser so I'm using this this um, graham cracker box that I um, had recently, I said I was going to use it for storage in my room tour video. So check out that room tour video to see that I said that. So um, basically, I just want to cut it down to about like where my hand stops. So it could be like a small little thing to go on your desk for... Um, for erasers and other things. You can put anything in it though, it doesn't matter. You can put pencil sharpeners in it, like small ones, um, erasers, you can actually put any type of variety dealing with anything in there. So yeah, I just wanna cut it down to the height that I want. Not exactly the height. All right, I'll be back when I'm done. So what I want to do before I um, cut the other side, I just want to make a line to show where I'm ending at so I can do it on the other side. So I just want to make a line going all the way across. And it has to be a straight line because other than my box will be messed up. All right, so it seems like a pretty straight line to me. Okay, pretty straight. So I'm going to be back when I'm done. Alright, so I cut all the way down to the line. And now I want to cut, cut across on the line. So, if I can. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do it on the other side. So if I could cut it down a little bit more. Just not too much past the line. Just so I can cut on the line. This one's going to be hard. So finally, guys, I was able to cut it out. It took a good minute, but also you can use the scrap for other crafts if you want to. So now that I'm done with that, I just want to get my Sharpie again and trace a line going all the way around. So I know where I need to cut it. Because I don't want to cut it uneven lines. Okay, guys. Let's do that. Let's try. Okay. Then we want to do a line over here. The other side straight line and now I should be about able to put it back over. It has to be straight guys, got to be straight. It's not really a straight line but it's alright guys. I can always make a straight layer on so I'll get back to you. Alright so I cut almost all the way across on the side so I just want to cut down now. I want to start cutting down so I can get to the cut part. So I'm almost there. Alright, so let's get there. Jeez. It's hurting my fingers, guys. And comment down below some more DIYs I should do because I will try to do them. I want to do a lot of back to school DIYs because I see a whole bunch of people doing them. And they look so cool and I feel like I should be doing that like... Like, for real, so yeah. Okay guys, so right now I am cutting off this tab. It's almost cut off. I forgot to videotape when I was cutting it off, so I'm sorry about that. Let's just cut it off. There we go. It's cut off. Just got a little bit more. So now I just got to cut off this last piece, guys. It's the last piece of the whole box. So I got to hurt. Ow. Okay, guys, I'm going to be back. All right, guys, so finally I got all four of my tabs right here. And I'm just going to move it aside for a